in this video you will learn about the if s formula in excel which is far better than the old nested if formula in excel so if you want to learn in detail about the if formula then you can find the video link in the description below so let's start with the if formula in excel then we'll understand the difference between the if s and if formula in excel with examples so if you are watching the video for the first time then please subscribe our channel and let us know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below so let's start with a simple if formula equal to if for example i have the marks and i have to give the ratings based on their marks for example if it is greater than 90 i'll give grade a and close the bracket so this is simple e formula with a simple conditions now if you are into use the nested if you can give lot of formulas and conditions for example if a2 is greater than 80 then b grade or b ratings comma if a2 is greater than 60 then c otherwise will give the d rating now here since you have e formula 2 to 3 times so every time you have to type e here and open the bracket similarly here also you have to type e and open the bracket so you have opened the bracket 3 times so you have to close the bracket also 3 times and enter So now if i copy the formula down or click like this then you will get the ratings the if formula is the complex formula this is called nested if formula the if else formula is not available in old excel versions it is available only in excel 2019 or 365 or microsoft office 365 excel versions So if you want to use the if else function you have to update your excel let me know in the comment section below if you are working the if else function in the old excel version as well so now how to use the if else formula we we'll learn with examples and with multiple criteria so let's copy this formula and keep it here somewhere for your reference so that we are going to compare this with our simple if s formula so this is your if formula now we are going to change that formula with if s formula here in the if s you don't have to type the if formula again and again for example equal to if s so if s is having logics only you need to type don't have to type if again and again for example i'm going to copy this or i'll type again let's say this is greater than 90 then give me the a grade or a rating comma if a2 is greater than 80 give me b rating comma if greater than 60 give me c rating so now here here you have to give last logic if none of the condition is fulfilled for example i have to give if a2 is less than or equal to 60 then d rating enter so it will work perfectly fine now you have another option to modify the formula as well that's why i'm always telling please watch the video till the end so you don't miss out anything here in the case since we have all the conditions fulfilled instead of writing these conditions if you write true and enter it will work the same way because we don't have to type the last condition so this is the default condition so it will be work perfectly 
fine so this is all about the if else formula we can also have lot of examples coming soon so if you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comment section below and please subscribe our channel for more useful videos thanks for watching